Hey everybody, Rob Williams, Generation X Wing Podcast, out of Rim Rookie. Happy May the 4th day. This is an impromptu video I decided to make. It was, uh, <laughs> it's literally May the 4th today. And listening to the Sandcrawler, uh, well, listening to Tumbling Saber with uh, uh, Mac from the Sandcrawler on the show, and they're talking about um, action figures and the state of action figures in 2021 and how we can never find a bloody action figure on the show. On the pegs and it's true you can't you can't find nothing on the pegs but i driving to school uh it's just around seven o'clock first start uh walmart's just opened out i decide you know what i'm gonna take a chance it could be a star wars miracle and it was it was a very interesting star wars miracle so i walked in and uh went down to the aisle and checked the pegs and um i was surprised to see uh <laughs> Star Wars action figures, right there. I got the whole, like three or four pegs full of them, of Black Series six inch, uh, this Hunter, right there. And then I I just like, is that the only one or the, no, no, there's a Elite Squad Trooper right there. And so I, and it keeps happening. I mean, then all of a sudden this lovely lady pops up, Saj Ventress. And then I just like, well, there's Crosshair. He's sitting right in the front there. And then I remember what Mac was saying. He said, yeah, they'll never have a Bo-Katan, but there's three of them on the peg. And I was just like, holy crap, I hit the mother load. This is the first time, and I don't remember how long. I'm talking almost years where I've seen something like this on the shelf. Like this, this good of a stock on the shelf. And so... I'm all excited and so you know what I'm gonna grab one of each because I know somebody is gonna need something I honestly don't collect a lot of these maybe I'll hold on to the um, Bad Batch for Scott, but I'm gonna buy them anyway Someone's gonna need them and they can pay me back most likely a Neil <laughs> and So anyways, I, I got them and I was really happy about that And so I look at the price and this is $29.95 a Canadian so I'm like, oh, great, 30 bucks. So I, it's a Star Wars miracle. So I go to the checkout counter. Um, it's all self-checkout because it's only like five minutes after the store opened. I go to the checkout and they don't scan. And I remember every time I try to scan one of these damn things, they don't scan. It's very frustrating why Star Wars action figures don't scan at the checkout. I don't know what it is. It's, it was like that with The Last Jedi. It was like that with The Rise of Skywalker. They just, it, it, and I typically get them on the first day, so these things were not scanning. It's uh, basically, it says, um, you know, wait for help. Beep, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, lady comes up, nice little lady, uh, about four foot nothing, and um, she's, she tries to scan it, doing the exact same thing I did, because for some reason, I guess she might have a magic touch and I don't. Um, <laughs> so I scan it, or she scans it, and it doesn't register. And so she goes, how much is it? And I go, it's, it says, it's 30 bucks on, on the peg. And she looks at me and walks away. And um, then she goes to her manager. And then it goes to her manager. And all of a sudden, there's like five people in a circle in front of the store there just kind of looking at a phone and, and da, 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 jab, jabbering to themselves and pointing and pointing at me and pointing in the direction. And then another, ma I guess the floor manager comes up and says, That's, it's $37. It says online. I'm like, $37? It says 30 bucks on the peg. Well, that's what the price is, 37. And I'm, I'm, now my mind's in rapid motion here. I'm thinking, you know, it probably is 37, but sometimes Walmart prices are wrong online. But then again, it does say, and then I'm thinking it does say 30 bucks on the peg. And she might be right online, but you know, it, so it's, it says 30 bucks. And then she says something else. And she, I think, I, I'm thinking she says 33 bucks. Like, and then she leaves. And I, no, 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 30, and then she's gone. And then I'm left standing there for like a good five minutes by myself, wondering what's going on. And I'm just like, is somebody going to help me? And I, I go back to the sweet little lady and I was like, is, is somebody going to help me? And she says something I don't understand because the masks are blocking everything. And so all of a sudden she runs to the phone, puts the phone down, comes to me and says, you need to show her where they are. I go, they're in the toy aisle. <laughs> and she's like, could you go see her there? And I'm like, but they're in the toy aisle. This it's like the whole wall full of it. And she and she's like, just just go. I'm <laughs> the sweet little lady lost her sweetness. It was just like, so I had to walk to the other end of the store, and there and there she is standing in front of the toys, 
in, it's literally in front of the Star Wars action figures with the store manager this time. And, I, and she goes, how much is it again? And I literally look at her and look at the peg and I go, I tap it. And it goes, 30 bucks. Oh, 30 bucks. I thought, I thought you, she said three bucks. I go, oh God, no. But if you want to give it to me, <laughs> and but, so she apologized. It's the, the mass thing and it, it just started confusing things. And so you know, the guy for 30 bucks, but as we're leaving the, the aisle and, you know, just kind of, you know, the apologies and no problems and all, you know, the polite Canadian that we do, um, I'm noticing near the aisle is the automotive area. And there are, I, I, there's 11, I count them 11 adults, males, all white bearded looking kind of comic-y guy look just hanging out there in the automotive section. And it's like, there's something special going on here. And I'm like, what's going on? And so I, t I look at the store manager, I go, what's up with that? Oh, they're here for Pokemon cards. All of them? Is there something to happen? Because, oh, they're, they're here all the time. And they, they think that the shipment's coming in and, and, uh, they're going to just grab what they need and, and leave pretty much is what he's getting to the gist of. And he says, shipment's not coming in. <laughs> I was just like, and I just started to laugh. It was just like, these are all probably comic book, our own, uh, comic book store owners or card traders or whatever, just getting in first thing in the morning, waiting for the shipment. And so that is why there's no friggin' Pokemon cards on the shelves. They're all taking them. 11. I counted them 11 men. They, they don't look like they, they trade Pokemon cards. I can guarantee you that. They look like they sell them. But it was really interesting way. It's a really interesting um, insight into the world of collecting and how crazy it's gotten. Anyways, I'm really happy I got this. I'm super happy. It's it's thirty bucks each. That's a good deal. It's a, it's. A, I'm glad I don't collect Pokemon cards. I'm glad my son's not that into Pokemon cards because those guys are. Me uh, some there was something odd about them because they followed me into the store. It's it was like that uh, first day of um, like action figure day we had a couple years i can't even remember now but it's all the trauma that we suffered it was like that day where they were all kind of like there's that hurried walk and i was first in line before the store opened and it wasn't like i was really like rushing i was just listening to sandcrawler pod or listening to tumbling saber podcast with sandcrawler with mac on it and uh push 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 and i was just like they're walking kind of fast now are, are they going to get the same thing i am and they didn't. I turned right into the toy aisle. They turned left into automotive. And it was really weird. And it was just like, but I, you, you can sense it. It's that disturbance in the force. You can sense that there's something up. There's, they're in a hurry. They kept eyeing me. And I remember one guy having his arms wide, wide apart. He was kind of directing others. I don't know what was going on there. It's a weird, weird world collecting. And I'm so glad I'm not too into it. But as I buy $150 worth of, action figures <laughs> anyways there we go my may the fourth story um check out tumbling saber check out sandcrawler hey and check out our podcast as well the generation x-wing podcast um probably share this pod i'll probably share the story on the podcast as well uh, i would like to get some insight to to what neil has or what steve go through and stuff like this but anyways hope you have a great may the fourth weekend or uh, may the fourth week <laughs> anyways Anyways, I hope you have a great May the 4th day. I'm going to, I got Nina in the back and I'm going to dress up for school. I better get to school. I got to get to work. All right, got to go. Bye.